got up here at New Hampshire at around 10 o'clock. Parked my car at the other side of this traverse and then took a shuttle to this side, which kind of sucks. The only time the shuttle goes from those two spots is at 10.30. So it's pretty late in the day to start a hike like this. But uh, on the first stretch now, uh, I think it goes almost straight up to like 4,000 feet, then dips a little bit, goes to 4,400, dips a little bit again, then goes up to 4,800. And it should be relatively smooth sailing from there. But it's pretty gnarly right now. Probably won't be able to film that much with this camera, but uh, it's a lot of stuff like this. And it just keeps going up. But um, I think that's Mount Washington up there in the clouds. Luckily, I don't have to go that high. Maybe almost that high. The one to the left there. But it should be a beautiful day. Finally got some good weather for one of these cool hikes. So I'm really look forward, looking forward to this one. I'll definitely be hiking in the dark for a while. Probably four hours, if I guess. But it's kind of tricky filling with this thing. When you're climbing like this. easy so far honestly. Like I knew that first part was on a suck and after this one it's on a suck a little bit because it dips all the way down like a thousand feet and then you go up 1600 feet or something like that. But it's really been kind of easy so far cruising. So high up, and there's no view. There's gotta be something over here. Straight that way. I guess I'll keep it moving. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can while the sun's still up. It'd be nice if I could get over Mariah and then just, um, then just downhill in the dark. I think it's totally possible. Um, it's probably seven or eight miles away and it's like five o'clock right now so I've got three hours to get over there. Three and a half. I guess there was um, 20 degrees on Washington last week when I was doing the ones in Maine. I was struggling at the top of that one on, on the Bigelow. I was really struggling on top of Bigelow. It was like probably 40 something degrees. Can't imagine how bad it was on Washington. I guess they were turning people around who didn't have winter gear on July 30th, which is insane.
South Carter. Two more to go, I think. Pretty easy so far, actually. Feel good. Pretty much at the base of Mariah. The sun's going down. It's starting to get dark. Switch my headlamp. Oh, I can still see. Not sure what city that is. It's probably Gorham. Which is sort of where I'm hiking to. So Mariah's up there. I think I'm going along that ridge and back to the city. But I'm making pretty good time. I had a little bit of a scare with my headlamp. I couldn't get it to turn on for a good minute. So I was pretty freaked out that maybe it got bumped and was on like all night or something. Or all day. And it was dead. Which I've been so screwed. But luckily it turned on. It's one piece of advice, if I have any, to anybody who's doing this kind of thing, is get a headlamp and just throw it in your bag. Keep the batteries fresh. Have an extra pair if you want in your bag. Because these hikes tend to take a little bit longer than you think. And it gets darker when you're hiking through woods like this. And you really don't want to be out here using your phone as a flashlight for two hours, four hours, six hours. Luckily it hasn't happened to me. A couple times where I've had to run because I didn't have my light. It also allows you to take your time a little bit more. You can stop and take pictures of the sunset and not have to worry about getting back to the car. And I'm pretty minimalist when I do these day hikes. I literally just carry my camera gear and two water filters. <laughs> but there's one thing I will not forget is my headlight. I am starting to definitely carry two pairs of socks now since the 52 miler. Because that sucked. But other than that, it's really just uh, two water filters, gummy worms, Headlight, socks. And that's pretty much it. There we go. I made up Mariah. I've officially climbed a hundred and twelve out of 115 high peaks in the Northeast. Now it's just uh, four and a half miles back to the car. My main priority right now is finding water, because I'm all out. Been out for a couple hours now. Somehow wasn't water the entire way down. Like, not even a puddle. So, if anybody does, else is doing this, just a warning. There's no water at all for the last or first nine miles, depending on which way you go. This whole area here, 
have nothing. Luckily I have a gallon in my car. I just chucked it. 